Well good afternoon and welcome once again to uh, Ed's Orchids. Now we're just going to have a look at some uh, phalaenopsis today just to see how they're going on, see what's in spike, see what's in bud and have a look at things but uh, things are very very slow in the northwest of England. Uh, it's no wonder they're slow because the weather is atrocious. It's absolutely pouring down outside it's almost the 1st of June in a couple of days and the top temperature today is 10 degrees centigrade. So it's a no wonder we're struggling with our plants. Anyhow, we can't do anything about that, we'll just manage the best we can and uh, have a look at some plants. Now this was given to me uh, a few months ago when uh, I received quite a few of them I believe, I don't know actually how many, but uh, this was one that had flowered from the centre of the plant. Now we know it's not going to flower there again, but it's put up a nice new growth here. So that's good, I don't know what it's good going to be like, because these are mottled leaved varieties, which I haven't seen in this type of phalaenopsis before. So we'll wonder how these come out, and I've got two of them. The other one hasn't flowered and it's coming up very nicely. Here we are. That's coming up very nicely with the new growth on top there. But it's, as you can see the leaves are sort of a, a pattern variety. Very nice. They've all been watered so you'll see the roots on these are all green. Especially those inside the pots. So it'll be interesting to know what they're going to be like. I can't wait for them to come in bloom. Oh, and over here we've got a little uh, phalaenopsis that I forgot about that I, I watered. It must have been in there, what? Ooh. I don't know, quite a long time actually because the, uh, the sphagnum is going green on top. But uh, I must have put it in there because it had no roots. So uh, I'll tell you what, we'll take it out and have a look, see if there's any roots in it. It's a tiny little plant, I don't know what it is, it's no labels. But uh, it's quite healthy. Nice plain green leaves. And uh, it's got four leaves on at the moment, so there's nothing coming up in the middle. So we'll just take it out of its spot and see how it's going on in this. Well I've pulled out of its spot and I'm not going to remove all the uh, sphagnum because I can notice some nice new root growth. Absolutely lovely. So I'm putting this quickly back into its pot uh, so like it looks like I've never disturbed it. But uh, that's another pleasing sight. And it's always a pleasing sight when you see something different and I've just noticed over here one of those uh, rescue phalaenopsis that have flowered in the middle before the ones that I was given it's grown a new growth there and it's also got a spike on it so that's interesting just looks like a small uh, plant but uh, Actually, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite pleased with this. You know, just left it alone and let it get on with it. And uh, as you can see, that's the point where uh, it had flowered from the middle before. We just wait for that to die off, and then we can make make a, a really nice plant of this one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what colour these uh, these blooms will be. This is the Angraecum didderi in here that's uh, looking very, very nicely and growing another new leaf there, so I don't know how tall these can get, but uh, this, look, this is looking very, very good. Angraecum didderi. Now a lot of these aren't labelled, but uh, there's some good new root growth on everything. 
that's coming up with a nice spike there I think that must be a uh, uh, oh, what do they call them a green variety anyhow a bloom another one here coming up with two spikes on looks like it's going to get ready to bloom this one so I'll lift this out there yeah that's a cross between Bellina and Violacea some more with some good roots on there just browse over them and another one here with uh, plenty of good roots and spikes and these are quite big plants these <coughs> and uh, although they're growing well they're not showing much uh, much sign of uh, blooming but uh, absolutely beautiful plants so they should be nice those when they uh, when they get to blooming size and yeah that's all on that table so uh, now let's have a look over here some little phalaenopsis they're in uh, moss as well trying to bring them on a little bit a bit warm in here you know, it's, well it never drops below about 18 in here now but uh, <clears throat> it might get a little bit uh, cooler than that in here today because of the, uh, the weather outside some more phalaenopsis here this is Corning's violet with four spikes on it uh, th that's a Guadeloupe with two spikes on it This one is a Bellina Carulia. This hasn't flowered yet, but it's grown one massive big new leaf there. We've got the Shiliriana that's got a nice spike on it. Nice big spike too. Not showing sure many buds, but it's a spike. That's the Shiliriana. There's another Karula there, we're coming up with some nice new growth. Uh, Timothy Christopher, that's done nothing yet. Now I've got four down here that Sheila uh, sent to me because her greenhouse, she can't keep them warm enough for it. And since I've had them, this is Shilarana, it's put up a new leaf there. So it just shows that keeping these as a minimum of 18 degrees they'll grow very very well. That's the Shilleriana. And the other one I've got which has got a really funny coloured leaf is a Phalaenopsis tying oh, shin fly eagle, something like that. This has got a nice spike on it with a bud on the end. Another spike growing there. That's the normal leaf and this leaf is a bit of a different colour altogether. But they are showing signs of improvement. Some nice new roots coming there at the bottom too. This is one that was nearly dead. Phalaenopsis LD Sun Dragon. And it only had one leaf on it but by keeping it warm. There's another leaf coming up there. And also I thought it was going to flower but unfortunately the blood the bud was blasted. But uh, not much we can do about that and it's expected sometimes. And this other one was in a bad state. Which was uh, oh I can't read the label with the Phalaenopsis, Cat's Paw, Firebird, Montclair, HCC, AOS. Well, it's 
not doing much at the moment, but it's just putting up a new spike there. But uh, not much in the way of roots in the pot. But uh, hopefully they'll all come on and start doing pretty well. Got the Angraic and Sesquipedale in here. It's a pity these Sesquipedale always uh, have floppy leaves. But uh, if you remember it was putting out two roots on this side but they've grown and almost going into the compost. And on the other side there were three. I haven't looked at them for a bit. So uh, we'll see how they're going on. Yep, they're exactly the same. They're going right down into the compost. So that's doing fine. And uh, it's put this new, new leaf up here, which is lovely. And Graecum sesquipedale. Um, uh, Lady Isabel. And that's coming into spike. One of the leaves has gone a little bit brown, but uh, it's showing plenty of green as well. And uh, I think there's a uh, that world's going to flower, but that's uh, decided not to. So that's uh, Paffy Pedalum, Lady Isabel. There's another Paffy Pedalum, uh, Lady Isabel here that's doing very nice. It's got three growths on it, and it's got. Uh, well, another growth coming up there, and another one down there. And this is not uh, anywhere near uh, being in flower yet, as I can tell. But you never know with these, they can do nothing and nothing and nothing. And then suddenly you'll look at them and they'll have a beautiful, beautiful spike on them. Paffia Pedalum, Lady Isabel. Here's another one, two big fat pseudobulbs, it's a Chysis Bracti, Bracticens or something like that. Uh, it's doing absolutely nothing since I've had it. I've had it about, oh, three or four months. There was some that dropped off a piece that, uh, that Sheila had. So uh, I just spotted it up in here and I'm just leaving it because uh, the bulbs are rock hard. There's no new growth on it yet. But I'm sure when it gets into the time of year when it should be showing growth, and I don't know whether it's this time of the year or not, uh, it should start doing something. And if it doesn't start doing something, what will happen, I presume, that these uh, pseudobulbs will eventually rot. But we'll see how that goes on, a chysis, the only one I've got. And the only other thing I've got in this room is uh, is this fish tank here which I'm setting up now to hopefully I'm going to try and breed some uh, Congo Tetris. Oh, he's just walking out of the room and I saw this one that wasn't doing very well. If you remember it was a, a cakey on a plant that uh, I mounted but it wasn't doing much at all. Put a new root out there, but I've just noticed right underneath the root there's a spike. And there's a few of those fungus marks I've got on the leaf there, so I'll have to chop that off before it travels any further. And I think at the end of this it's on as well. Yeah, I'll get rid of them. I don't like marks on leaves, and I'm sure none of you do neither. Well, there's nothing much in this room that I can show you that I haven't shown you. In fact, there's nothing in this room. So uh, we'll leave it there saying thanks very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.